What's up, gamers? Good afternoon. Happy Saturday. Uh, today is chapter 35, episode 35 of our Mega Build Let's Play here on the YouTube. And I'm going to give you guys an update on our uh, lumber mill that we've got going on here type of thing. That's what, we're, that's what I'm calling it, a lumber mill. Uh, ignore these temporary stairs right here. But uh, yeah, so more or less, I'll give you guys an idea of what I'm planning on doing right so at the end of the day this is just going to be a really over exaggerated way to send myself sticks across the map uh because i don't like the way that this looks so if you watched the video yesterday um i've done quite a bit since then i've rounded off the corners on the post i still need to make the post on this front corner here but uh yeah we got the first floor done on stream last night i've been whittling around working on it this morning a little bit trying to get a good concept going and I think I've got it figured out. So we're going to do a platform here uh, in the middle, this little section here. And we're going to put another whole floor on this side. Uh, and then we're going to duplicate this uh, little too high box area up on the second part. And then once we get that far, it might take a week or so to get that far. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we are going to make a big cab on the top like you would see on a crane. So a huge cab up here. And then the crane arm is going to start extending out. I'm going to make the crane arm huge, and more or less the crane arm is just going to be uh, something I'm going to be able to go inside of. It's going to be ramps that go all the way up to the top that allow me to be able to send sticks to any part of the yard that I'm currently building in. We're going to have a bunch of zip lines coming out of the top of it uh, that I can pretty much manipulate to wherever I want to go. So today we're going to be working on this. Make sure, you guys, I don't, like, every time I look at my analytics, it says that only, like, 2% of the people that watch my videos are subscribers. If we could get all those 98% of other people to hit the subscribe button, then we could definitely hit my 10,000 sub goal by the end of the year. I do think we might hit it regardless, but the faster we get there, the better, baby. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and like these videos and make sure you uh, pay attention to the whole entire video because I'll give you hints and tips not hints and tips, but uh, more or less keywords to hide in the comments down below. It's a little game we play here. Uh, everybody seems to enjoy hiding hiding words in the comments. Uh, yeah, it, it's fun, man. It's fun, and I make sure I try and reply to every comment, too, so let me know. And if you ever want to see us live, we are live on Twitch every night, and we got a lot of people that come over there from YouTube. Probably 90% probably of my community has come over uh, from watching these YouTube videos. So if you want to join them, you want to hang out with us, man, uh, do that. But we're going to go ahead and get into the build here. I've got some stuff to do. I've got a lot of planks uh, saved up here. Uh, planks, not plank sticks. I got a lot of sticks saved up here. So we're going to start laying down this floor here. And pretty much I think I've got enough crude rope. Um, I actually don't. So let's make some crude rope real quick. Um, I have been trying to clear out as much grass and stems as I can as we go along here from this whole entire area. I want all the grass gone from this whole place, at least from in between the sandbox and the picnic table. Um, clear all the way to here. Let's check this out again. So more or less, I want to clear out uh, this whole area right here, which really isn't a whole lot um, of all the grass and stems, just so that uh, when I come over here to get stems, uh, just like over here, um, you know, it's really easy to see the stems and the stems only. So we can, you know, get as many as I need to, to work on whatever I'm working on. But uh, yeah, so we're going to start getting this part ready here. So I'm doing kind of a checkerboard thing and it's I'm alternating the checkerboard between floors as well. So uh, you'll be able to see that every one underneath this one is different or the same. Actually, never mind. I'll just uh, shut my mouth now. But either way, they are checkerboarded. And it was funny, a couple times last night on stream, whenever I was doing this, like I'd look over at my chat and everybody would be like, wrong pattern, wrong pattern, wrong pattern, big fit. <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing awesome, man. Got a lot of a lot of new people uh, from yesterday's video that, that see my videos for the first time, dude. I love it when I keep getting these comments of people that are like, hey, man, this is the first time I'm watching your videos. I'm like... Where you been, bro? I got like 650 freaking grounded videos. Where you at? <laughs> now, a lot of people are just revisiting the game. A lot of people are coming back to the game, which is awesome. 
you know, you can't. The biggest tip I can give anybody that plays this game is don't just start the game, get your sword, shield, and go beat the game. Like, do some building, man. You can, if you enjoy survival crafter builders, like, this is probably one of the ones with the best building mechanics. Obviously, we can still use a few more pieces. Hopefully, we'll see that in future updates. But, uh, yeah, like. Don't just don't just play the game just to beat it. I mean, you can if you want, but I highly suggest you play it for what it is and just build your build your little life away here. And hopefully, I can motivate some people or inspire some people to do some big builds. That's why I like doing this kind of thing. A lot of people aren't very, you know. There's a lot of people out there that don't like to build like this. I get it, but I enjoy it, man. I enjoy making. Especially making the developers. Now that I got the developers on my, on my end, I want to make them be like, "Wow!" You know what I mean? That's a huge accomplishment for them to see a creator out here freaking flexing like this, if you want to call it flexing, I guess. Um, we are going to be running out of crude rope here, sadly. So I'm going to need to get more of that. I believe I might be able to go back to the crib for those of you that haven't seen the actual, uh, the OG base. Um, I believe I can go back there and grab some more because I think I've, I think I've still got like 2,000 plant fiber back at the house. Uh, let me see what we got in here. Yeah, I've got nothing in those containers. All right, let's run back to the house real quick. And that'll give me a chance to get something to drink and something to eat as well because my man is starving. Starving Marvin. Yeah, I can't wait till I literally don't have to do this anymore. But this is probably about the height that the crane's gonna come up to, if you could just imagine. Don't look down. Don't look down. It's gonna be pretty cool. And I honestly think I'm gonna I'm thinking about making the the posts on all four corners a little like one size bigger. Like one size wider, because they're three by three right now. I'm thinking about making them five by five. Uh, because I think that adding that little extra depth will make it look pretty cool. Don't knock me off, dude. Have you guys ever been on a zip line and gotten knocked off by a bee? Oh my god. It's like a one in a million chance. But look at him. He's on my tail. He wants to smoke. Uh, good news. Little Roro's feeling better today. Uh, Jessica's still not feeling super hot, but, you know, we're trying. They're trying to get better. Trying, trying, trying. I still got a whole lot of grass to clear out over here, too. I'm I'm happy that I now know that uh, that I can clear out the dry grass without it growing back. That makes me super happy. And I got a lot of work to do on the wall, man. The wall is like the the wall is the long project. It's the one I work on when I when I run out of ideas for other things. Eventually, that wall is going to connect to the picnic table, and then we'll see what we do with the picnic table. It's going to be going to be nuts, I'm sure. But uh, let's see here. Let's get some water. Okay, let's go ahead and fill up our canteen too, shall we? Might as well, since we've just got water for days over here. Do 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 do. Oh, I just dumped it out. I think it dumps it into the water container though, so that's not too bad. All right, let's. Uh, yeah, because I need a lot of sticks here at this place, so this is the main reason I'm building this. Uh, all right, let's make a bunch of crude rope real quick. I don't have a thousand. I'm actually running low. Running a little low on plant fiber. Surprise, surprise. I could be spinning this up, but I got the perfect sound for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Guys, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and shoot out our first word here at nine minutes into the video. If you're still watching this video, I want you to comment down below the word fruity. That's going to be a hard one. That's not going to be as easy as the ones I normally give you guys. But take the word fruity and hide it in the comments. If you don't know exactly uh, how to do that, just uh, check out somebody else's comments. I'm sure I'm sure they'll do it for you. But uh, once again, guys, make sure you're subscribed if you're not. Uh, because that is, that is huge, man. You guys are really helping me. All this hard work I put into this every day. You wouldn't believe the amount of work that goes into creating content, whether it's for the stream for the YouTube, uh, I'm constantly studying, trying to make things better, trying to get better, trying to reach more people. 
You know, it's a it's a it's a grind, man. It's more of a grind than an actual real job would be because I spend probably close to fourteen to sixteen hours a day every day, uh, Monday through Sunday, doing this. So the fact that you guys are enjoying it and showing support, I really really appreciate. It makes all the hard work worth it. Makes it all worth it. But yeah, imagine episode one hundred. This, because we're on 35, episode 100. Imagine the, the tower going all the way over there and then wrapping around, wrapping around the picnic table. And then imagine our crane being nice and complete over here right now. It's going to be awesome, dude. It's going to be super awesome. Super, super duper, super, super duper cool. Rowan, uh, I let I let Rowan play on my ground this morning for a little bit, and I taught him how to chop grass and put grass on pallets and things. And now he's like obsessed. Now he really want he really wants to play again. You can come in the stream if you get some clothes on, okay? You go get a shirt on or something, so nobody wants to see your little five year old naked naked boobies. <laughs> All right, so we've got more plant fiber. That was the main quest there. We got filled up, topped off with food. Uh, none of our sticks have grown back yet, but that's fine. Um, we're just going to be laying down the second floor here. Um, so the insides of these two giant platforms is going to be where I'm going to house as much uh, as much crude rope as absolutely possible. The thing is, dude, it takes absolutely no time to use up these pallets of sticks, sadly. Uh, you can already tell like we're flying through it. It took me it took me all three hours to finish this first platform last night uh, We also did a whole bunch of why did I don't what did that? Why did that not happen right there? That was weird uh, We also did a lot of extra stuff last night plus if you've never been to my stream before It's like a super super exciting and fun experience because it's literally chat versus me uh, with all the awesome interactive stuff that I have going on either they're making me eat sour stuff or spicy stuff or wear funny silly goofy costumes it's 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 them versus me if you've never been there if you've never been to the live stream before it's it's quite a it's quite an event oh he's done you're all dressed now okay cool you want to you want to assist me be my little co-host here all right you ready all right tell me what to do you can tell me what to do Nope, don't don't push the space bar. Stop pushing the space bar. You're just supposed to tell me what you want me to do. Who wants the grass? You want me to cut grass? Okay, no, we can cut grass. grass. Cut it and collect it? I can do that. Little did I know we were going to have a special guest on the show. Row, 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 row. All right, man, it gets it gets real laggy when there's so much grass in the. Don't, 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 don't touch the keyboard, please. Look at all this. Look at all this dancing water over here, dancing grass. What in the world? Get that. Oh no, that didn't. That. Oh god, I'm. I'm trapped underneath of it. That was bad. I can only see half of my screen since Rowan's like big old head's taking up most of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to put your mouth on it, you weirdo. That's pretty crazy that Dad got trapped. <laughs> the streamers? Is that what you call them? The streamers? They're called the viewers. Yep, the viewers. How did you drop them? How did I drop them? Yeah. I throwed them. The Look at them dancing. Dancing on the water. Isn't that funny? Yeah, but that's so crazy. All right, you ready to say bye now? Uh, here, take here. You do me a favor. You you take all the grass and you go put it in a pallet in my in my workshop, okay? Let's see let's see how he does it. I'm hands off. This is all him. Let's see if he can nail it. 
my little prodigy gamer child. You got it, dude. He just learned how to do this this morning. He doesn't really, he doesn't really uh, mess with with uh, PC games too much. He's he's kind of a Minecraft god, but look at this, dude. You're nailing it. Good job. Now what? Look at that. Good job, dude. All right. Well, thank you for thank you for your help. That's a wave. <laughs> All right, say thank you, everybody. Thank you for your help, Roro. Give me hugs. Nope, I gotta finish my video. Give me hugs. Mwah. All right, go play Minecraft. Go build. <laughs> there you go, a little special special episode for all you uh, family loving types out there. All right, let's finish this up. I'm glad he's feeling better, though. Very glad he's feeling better. No sticks are growing back yet. We're all out of sticks. Um, what I can do here is work on my other little angled parts up underneath. So that... Let's see here. Yeah, I believe I did it like this. Okay. Rowan, now calm down, buddy. You're getting too crazy. Thank you. He's got a case of the hyper explosions, we'll call it. If you're if you're a parent in the chat, man, just let me know. Let me know. We got a lot of we got a lot of family people in uh, in the community. If you oh, let me tell you guys a little bit about the community in case you didn't know. Uh, so. You know, some of you might be watching this video and you and you don't even know what the heck a community is. Rowan, please stop trying to talk over me, okay? <laughs> <coughs> but more or less, a community is pretty much a group of friends, uh, a group of friends that all revolves around me. Um, I like to when I started this uh, journey. My main goal is I want to get big enough to where I can make a difference. I want to make be able to make a difference in uh, something to do with cancer. I want to make a difference in stuff to do with uh, infant loss because those two those two subjects are very close to my heart. So um, you know we're we as a community, me and my moderator team, and then anybody else who chooses to be um, big supporters of mental health. All of us, our DMs are open. If you join in our Discord, you can see all the moderators, anybody that you want to talk to or me or whatever. Um, if you're going through any kind of crazy stuff or, you know, you might be having like suicidal thoughts or anything like that, man, definitely make sure you reach out because reaching out is, uh, is huge. It really is huge. I've lost some friends, you know, former military veteran. You get a lot of... Not a former veteran, but a former military service member, I guess. A veteran. I've had a lot of friends kill theirself. And some in stupid ways where they shoot themselves, or others where uh, they ran at a police officer with a knife. And pretty much death by cop, suicide by cop type of thing. So I've been through some stuff. I've learned to cope with it. Um, passing the ability to cope with it on other people things of that nature so if you're you know if you've got anything going on man reach out we call the community the glue crew because we stick together as corny as it sounds it's as legit as it is it is what it is so man just stay tight always have someone to talk to never think you're alone things of that nature because you guys are worth it your lives are worth it everything about you is worth it don't let anybody ever tell you any different. But anyway, to move on from from that uh, somewhat saddish mood, we are going to keep on building these things until until I don't want to anymore. <laughs> All right, so here we go, like this. Oh man, do you guys hate it when you put a blueprint up and then it's like out of reach and you can't delete it? Like, that drives me nuts. I thought that was about to be what, what the case was right there, but... All right, let's go like this. 
Here we go. Um, so our first word, I already forgot what the heck it was, because it was a weird one. So hopefully you guys are paying attention. And a fail. And a fail. And my grass is in the water. No, get out of the water, grass. Okay, we're good. The second word, the first one was nine minutes in. Now we're 20 minutes in, a third of the way through the video. Um, let's make the second one. Oh, the first one was fruity. Yeah. Fruity. Second one's going to be popsicle. <laughs> I'm really getting weird with the words today, man. I need to start preparing these a little bit better. So I don't, I don't ever prep or script anything, uh, for the most part in most of my videos. Uh, some things I'll, I'll jot down notes or something like that if I really feel like I need to, but for the majority of it, it's all just, this is it, man. This is the raw, unedited life of see-through. You know, you never know what you're going to get. You never know if you're going to, if you're going to get a little crazy rowing interaction. You don't know if my house is going to catch on fire in the background. You don't know what you're going to know. So that's why you just watch the thing and you get to see all the additional extra weird things that happen. Oh, come on. Get up there. I got this wall cut out for now so I can at least get over here and try and try and get this sorted. Come on, man. Get up there. Let's try this side. Dude, it just does not want me to put that up. Jesus. These are a little out of reach, but I can reach them at the same time. I put these little walkways here. I'm just going to leave these little walkways here. These walkways are literally put here just to help me build this wall up a little bit. But I'm just going to leave them because they don't look bad. But I really like the idea of using these uh, different angled things to make kind of an actual crane arm. Like, that's going to be sick. Once we get to that part, I can't wait. I'm pretty stoked. Make sure you subscribe again. I'm just going to keep saying it to remind you. Where are you? I'm so sorry. Um, wait, I don't think I need any of this. Can I get to that? Maybe on this grass blade I can. Nice. All right, cool. I still need to make this corner here, uh, which I have no sticks now, so that's fun. I think I've still got some grass within reach, so we could try and knock out the rest of this. If it'll let me reach it. Uh. Now I'm like directly underneath of it. I don't want to be directly underneath of it. It's off to the side a little bit. Man, I'm really thinking about making some... Oh, we're all out of grass. Really thinking about making some grilled cheese for lunch, but I don't think we have any bread. Grilled cheese sounds good. What are you guys eating for lunch, man? Let me know in the comments and maybe maybe you'll inspire me to go make something or eat something. Grilled cheese sounds good, though. I don't normally eat lunch too often. Hell, I don't even normally eat breakfast too often. I don't even know what I'm talking about. We had this conversation on stream last night. I'm going to start... Uh, I'm going to start holding myself accountable through through you guys, through the Discord. Make sure you join the Discord, too, uh, if you really want to be part of the glue crew. Um, but I'm going to start I'm gonna start counting calories or something. I've got workout equipment I need to start using. Um, i got to start losing some weight, man, because last night it was funny because, you know, I, I, I cinematically positioned my camera so that, you know, I feel better about myself because self-esteem is a big issue whenever it comes to to content creation, putting yourself on camera and such. But uh, I haven't really had an issue with it because everybody assumes that I like weigh somewhere around 250 pound mark. Uh, after last night, whenever I asked everybody in chat to tell me how much they thought I weighed. And everybody said pretty much between 225 and 275 were the majority of the answers. And I'm 375, oddly enough. I'm obviously a bigger built guy without all the extra weight, but uh, since my knee surgeries and stuff, man, I just I have a really hard time getting around doing anything, so I really need to start focusing on a diet uh, to help me get started, I think, and I don't really think, I don't know if anybody's got any crazy weight loss stories or something they could tell me in the chat, but I think just getting started with getting rid of soda 
and just counting my calories. I think I'm going to, for probably like a, d- a couple days or so, maybe even a week, I'm just going to count my calories on a normal daily basis and write down everything that I eat and just kind of analyze it because, you know, I just, I could be scarfing down, you know, five people's worth of food every day and I just don't, I can't accept it or don't realize it or whatever. So I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to start counting things out, counting them out. I can't wait to get rid of the rest of this. I might actually go ahead and, uh, for the sake of not ever having any sticks fall into this pond, uh, and all the lag that we entail every time that we freaking, every time that grass falls into water, I think I'm going to start on the inside of this thing. You probably, you probably can't tell, but on the inside of this, uh, underneath this thing, we put a huge grass floor down underneath because stuff keeps falling in the water. And you could tell, dude, I'm down to 22 FPS right now. But as soon as I get all this off the, all this off the water, oh crap, that's the wrong button. Oh, that was slightly, slightly counterproductive there. Whatever this weird bug is that they did to this game with the freaking laggy water thing, it is very annoying. And it's just over here bouncing around, bouncing around like crazy, and causing all kinds of problems. And I'm just going to cover this water up so that we don't have to see it or deal with it ever again. Ever again, as much as I actually need this grass right now, we'll just, uh, we'll just get it out of here. There's plenty of grass around here, so I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, can I reach that? Yes. All right, cool. Perfect. Yeah, see, we're already, we're back up to 40 now. I must still have something in the water somewhere, or it's just like trying to adjust. Yeah, back up to 80 again. Whatever that bouncing on the water thing is that happens there, it's it's pretty it's pretty sketchy, man. It is pretty sketchy. Do 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 do. do. I'm trying to figure out what catchy th clickbaity thing I'm gonna type on the stream title today. Yesterday was just uh, this build is insane or something. You always gotta come up with something to at least get people's attention because. It's a dog eat dog uh, dog eat dog world out there in the YouTube space, and you gotta catch them people's eyeballs. You gotta catch the eyes. Okay, hopefully none of this actually gets trapped underneath, and I can get it all out so I don't have to deal with FPS until it despawns. Type of thing. Um, I am gonna want to chop that piece of grass there though, cause I don't want that growing back. Go ahead and give me that. I'm going to set all this down here so I can get that piece of grass out of the way. We do not want that growing back. Okay, good stuff. Um, chop this one down. Just got to deal with this choppy game for a second here until I can get all this out of the way. I don't want any of this underneath. I could just spicy staff it all, but I'm just whacking it. Man, my guy got hungry out of nowhere. What the heck? Did I sleep recently or something? Must have slept recently. Okay, there we go. Get this pile picked back up again. Make our little... Make our little grass floor here so we don't have to deal with uh, whatever that is that we have to deal with, you know? this crap this crap all right there's that let's get these out of here i need all this for crude rope need all the crude rope you know the really cool part about building over here as well i mean if you can manage to get over here early game if you're kind of a new game like new to grounded or something like that this place is awesome man they, there's so many sticks and grass and uh pebbles this is one of the best spots in the game for pebbles and then you've got mushrooms as well like there's just so many there's so much goodness around here um and there's also no bugs there's legit no bugs. You'll see like a black ant every once in a while, but they don't attack you. They're not aggressive. You got the bees up on the picnic table that kind of fly around here, but they don't really bother you. Um, yeah, man, this is a 
This is a goaded place to build a base over here. Maybe a little bit different location than I've got mine right now, but still, it's good, dude. Oh, and we, we've got a, we got an underwater fella here. Need to get rid of that. Okay, there's that. Good, 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 good. Get that underwater fella out of there. We got anybody that watches these videos that's really good at impressions? I do a lot of really good impressions. At least I think so. Everybody else thinks so too, I guess. But I would love to bounce some ideas off of someone else that, that has some good impressions and try and figure something out. If you guys haven't seen my ever ever seen my King of the Hill impression video, I'm gonna put that thing down in the comments if you've never heard my Hank Hill impression. It's it's pretty freaking spot on. So I made like a grounded short film um, about uh, Hank Hill trying to get rid of the concrete or the charcoal in the yard. So if that sounds funny to you, man, check out the the link in the description for that video because it's it is funny. <laughs> I spent I put way too much time into it too. The editing, I had like a little Hank Hill uh, uh, animation that I drew and kind of you know animated it and everything and it's it's just really funny man it's so it's so le I'm it's probably like the funniest thing i've ever done as far as content goes at least i think so maybe it's just because i have stupid humor but sometimes i have stupid humor all right we're slowly but surely getting this thing built and now i'm about to starve to death so let me get this, this is probably what bottled water and there's lunch Imagine just eating weevils. You, you don't have, you don't get to eat grilled, you don't get to eat grilled cheese. You just get to eat weevils all the time. No grilled cheese for you. I do have tortillas. Maybe I'll just make like a cheese quesadilla or something. But then again, I do have chicken too. So maybe I'll make a chicken and cheese quesadilla. Ooh. Okay. We're getting inspired, not only in Grounded, but in real life too real life inspiration i hope none of these get stuck underneath this which is what looks like happening right now with this i think they'll float through the ground hopefully hopefully where are you i'm so sorry that i got this song stuck in your head <laughs> Catching things and eating their insides. All right, one more grass guy. So like by one, I meant like 10, right? Really see through. You just get carried away with crack and grass, man. You can't get enough. I had one person one time tell me that this these videos should be an hour long instead of 30 minutes. So let me know what you guys think about that. Maybe I'll start making them an hour long if I can if I can fathom that. But uh, yeah, let me know if you think they should be longer if you're still watching this video at this point. The third and final word for all you try hard see-through fans out there um, is going to be, so we got fruity, and then we got uh, something else. I don't, even, I don't even remember my own words. I gotta start wiping these down. Wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow. Dude, this could be hard. I don't think anybody's gonna be able to use all three of the words wheelbarrow and fruity like what what is wrong with my brain i just keep saying random things that i see i seen the wheelbarrow i seen the wheelbarrow while uh, while i was carrying while i was carrying things so like i said guys if you still haven't yet subscribed or liked this video yet please do me a huge favor and do so greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys so freaking much and come check us out on twitch live every night literally every freaking night this is my life this is what I do for a living. And you guys are, you know, I wouldn't be able to do it without y'all. So do the thing. And now we got plant fiber on top of the grass, which works out wonderfully. Wonderfully. But y'all take it easy, man. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.